Welcome back demo fans. So today I've got a demo for you uh, which is around a Dropbox style solution. So we will set up a website and upload files into Blob Storage. Pretty straightforward uh, thing to do. There were a few challenges in setting up the code uh, around drag and drop interfaces and things like that. It's a very basic interface so don't expect this to, to replace a proper service but it shows you the kind of basics, introduces you to the JavaScript SDK for Blob Storage. Um, but the important thing about this demo, which you're going to see, is uh, we don't have a web server. Everything here is using vanilla, plain HTML and standard JavaScript, uh, as well as the obviously uh, Azure library. So this is going to be actually hosted in Blob Storage as the web server and um, it's going to upload back into that same storage account. So the only thing you're going to need today is a storage account. Um, and this is a good example of when you're architecting, don't just assume that you need the components that you've always used before. Sometimes cloud gives you better options, cheaper options. So this entire thing costs uh, pennies to run because it's just a couple of very, very small files in blob storage. So with that, I hope you enjoy the demo. And if you do, please click the like button uh, down there and hit subscribe so that you don't miss any future demos. For this demo, uh, we're just gonna need a storage account. So log on to the portal and do a search for storage account under create new resource and hit create. So we're gonna create a new resource group called blob drop. and give the storage account a name. Again, we're going to call it blob drop and I've used 2020 just to uh, differentiate between other accounts that are on the system. So I'm going to choose East US or Central US and locally redundant storage. And again, we're going to use the hot access tier. Once that's created, we're then going to start to set up the service. So go to the resource and once it's open, go and click on static website on the settings. So this is to allow you to use the uh, blob storage account as a web server. So we're going to set the index document name to index.html. That just allows it to know what the file is going to be. Um, and then we're going to paste in the uh, URL that's created into Notepad. Then copy the storage account name, which in this case is blobdrop2020, and paste that in after account name. So you can get this URL format from the uh, Git repository instructions. And then container name we're going to set to uploads, and we're going to copy that so that we can then paste it in and create that container. So open up the uh, containers area and just hit new container. And we're going to create a private container because we don't want these publicly accessible once they're uploaded. And the uploads is where all of your files are going to land. So you'll notice there's also a dollar web container. This is where your website is going to live. That's also created by the portal. So upload your index.html and then go back and upload all of the other files that, that we're going to need. But for these ones, you need to actually type in the folder name each time. Uh, so in this instance, it's CSS. And then the next one is going to be JS to upload the, uh, the JavaScript file. And then finally, we're going to upload the library. Uh, so you may not have the library. Uh, this is a Microsoft library, so you'd need to go follow the instructions and go and download that directly from Microsoft. But that goes into the libs folder. And that's the entire website uploaded. So next we're going to set up the uh, cross origin sharing. Uh, and I noticed as I was doing this that I had left the HTTPS in the uh, thing, so I just deleted the first one of those. So allowed origin, origins is going to be the HTTPS version of the uh, URL that you were given. 
going to allow the put method and allow all headers and just put a, a big max age in there. If you're doing this in production, do put some thought into how you're going to do the security stuff. Obviously, you wouldn't expect much else to come from your storage account. So next we're going to the shared access signature and setting up for blob, object access, and just writes, and generating the SAS connection string. So we're going to co copy the SAS token and just paste that in here. You'll note that there isn't a question mark after HTML. Normally you would put one, but the SAS key actually includes it. So uh, within the JavaScript, I break this apart and then pull it back together because it's easier to, uh, to create the URL. So copy that whole thing. And paste it into your browser and you'll then get loaded up the uh, blob drop interface and then go and find a folder on your uh, on your laptop or your desktop here I'm just going to copy the the readme file for the demo and drag it over the drop files here section and then you'll see once it's uploaded you should get the readme.md file uploaded and then next I'm going to use the if you click on the first corner uh, of the squares, you'll get the upload dialog as you normally would with a mouse-based interface. So then go into containers and you'll see the files are uploaded. And here I'm just gonna open the readme to, to show the content in there. So hopefully you enjoyed that demo. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will see you next time for the next demo. Thank you.